I'm going to do my intro real quick again because I had my recording paused even though my stream wasn't. So hello and welcome to more gaming. I am your host Admin Joe here and we went over our mons already so we're just going to do a little quick overview again. Sorry about that. Um, Ninjask, those are his moves. His nickname is Jet. Ronaldo, those are his moves. Uh, Shelly the Shellos, our starter mon. Those are his moves, or her moves, I should say. Um, then we have DNA here, which we will be doing a little thing here where if you comment a nickname, maybe it will get picked. And those are the moves there. Edward Scissorhands, of course. Always scary with this beat-up move. Having the whole squad jump in and beat your mon up. And then we have Alice, who likes to shake her booty. Because she's the sparky dancer, electrifying to watch. Then we have Jet again, so yeah. There's a quick little recap of what I just said because I forgot to unpause my recording. So, here we go. We're going to go ahead and start our gym challenge here against the fire gym leader. we got to go ahead and go change into our sporty uniform. And we are set to go. Fire Gym is about to start. And also, thank you guys who have just clicked on. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like on the video and follow if you have not done so yet. And if you don't mind, share where you can to help us boost our activity. And um, I know some of you may have... a. Uh, gonna get your ass burned i don't think so dusty we're about to drown these motherfuckers but um most of y'all might have a question about uh the music i'm actually using some uh mixes by glitch city her music is free to use for most people so check out her channel on youtube uh glitch x city and yeah, that's the music that's going to be playing for now because for some reason my audio is all messed up. And clearly here we're not going to be using Jet. Pretty much going to be relying on Shelly here. And if things get dicey, Ronaldo and Alice will make an appearance. Not really going to try to use the Fairy type. It is a new mon that we just got, but its moves are resisted. So we're going to try not to uh, do that here. Also, we get an encounter in this gym. One of the rare sightings that actually happens in a Pokemon game. So let's just go ahead and try to catch this Vulpix here. And yeah, Vulpix, uh, regular Vulpix was already in the game before the new decks. So I was about to say, did you normally be able to catch this? But yes, I was. So going to go ahead and throw a great ball, just throw a ball out, see if we actually catch it, because you know Corkle's going to be doing the damage to it. I'm not going to try to do too much damage. But will o -Wisp goes off, and it does go into the Corkle. <clears throat> Corkle gives off a mighty rapid spin. Volpix did not shake the ball at all when I threw it, but I'm just going to go ahead and throw another one. Because, you know, this freaking roly Coley is going to be doing the damage. Good thing it's burned, though, so it won't knock it out as fast. There you go. He, he caught a hint of that rapid spin and was like, yeah, I don't want it. Uh, it ain't it, dog. So now we can actually start killing the next Pokemon. No, we're not going to give you a nickname because you're going to be a new egg for us. Alright, so we do claim uh, two points there. I do believe you got to claim at least five points. No, six points. Because you, you can catch all three and you'll be fine there. But you certainly have to get at least six points. Uh, let's go ahead and just do a good water pulse here. And thank you all for the likes. Again, please follow if you haven't. And enjoy the show. And that's the last time I'm going to say it for a while. <laughs> also, guys, if uh, anyone watching wants to give a nickname to the Sylveon, we can go ahead and discuss that for a little while. 
And after we beat this gym, we can go ahead and nickname it whatever y'all choose. Hello, Linda, my beautiful wife. Thank you for joining the stream. Please leave a like. And you better follow me. Shows that you're not a follower yet. You're my wife. You're supposed to support me. All right, so we do get flinched. Did we get flinched? It seems like it. I wonder if we got faked out by the Salandit. That'd be weird. Wait, is that Salandit attacking me? I need to pay close attention here because that's what it seems like. All right. And that thing comes off with the Mighty Bite. And let's go ahead and go for another Water Pulse here. Yeah, it's attacking me. That's weird. But, whatever. Also, guys, I would like to give you a reminder of my stream schedule. It is normally Wednesday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Central Time. But, um, this Saturday I do have something going on. So, I will probably be streaming on Sunday instead. Well, I'll for sure be streaming Sunday instead. But I might also do a little stream as well on Friday night. Wait, what? What was the mission? Get five points to clear the mission. Defeat all the Pokemon Tall Grass, you get one. But catching Pokemon gets you two. Oh, so I gotta kill another Pokemon. I was off. You would think uh, knocking the Pokemon out would give you more points, but I guess not. Well, this gives us a chance to get a little bit more EXP. And Incinerate hits both. That's interesting. Hey, Holly, thank you for watching. Please leave a like and follow if you haven't yet. Also, share if you don't mind so we can get interaction up. And also, like I said a second ago, anyone who wants to nickname the Sylveon, go ahead and throw a name out there. And it will most likely be picked. Not much, Holly. Just doing a little egg lock here. Um, as you can see, people sent in some cool eggs. And we're actually using some very interesting Pokemon. And we have more Pokemon in the PC that we have access to. But since I'm doing the gym, it won't let me do it. I got five points, didn't I? Oh, wait, what? I could have swear I got five points. Whatever. Let's kill another one. Thank you, Joe. Welcome to the stream as well. How you doing, Sylvester? Alright, we're going to go ahead and water pulse the hell out of this Litwick. Hopefully, 16 candles over here is enough to get us the points we need for the gym. Which it should be, because I've caught Pokemon... One Pokemon, I've knocked out three. This is the fourth one I knocked out. I'm good. What? Do I have to catch Pokemon? There's one more point needed to clear the fire gym. I thought I did it already. No, well, let's see. Hey, Nerez, thank you for uh, joining the stream. How you doing, man? No. No what? Thank you for sharing, Holly. Whoa! I don't know what happened there. But that's a landing took a big old hit. And see, this Salana is the only Pokemon who hits me. I should have water pulsed it. Alright, Sizzlipede hit itself, so we can go ahead and knock it out here. Hopefully. 
Oh, well, thanks, uh, Solandin, you dick. You're supposed to be on my side. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I did ask a question and forget my own question. That's my bad. All right, another gym mission cleared. Finally. I really thought I killed, I killed like four Pokemon, right? Oh, well. Let's go ahead and heal this burn. Ha, ha See? I hope you brought burn heal. And I did. I'm a smart pickle. Hola, Jose Garcia. Si, sí, yo habla un poquito español, pero yo... Yo habla más inglés, so... This is an English stream. But thank you for viewing. Hopefully you like, subscribe, and maybe I will start doing some Spanish streams later. <laughs> Practice my Spanish a little bit more. Porque ahorita yo nomás habla un poquito. Good. All right, guys. Here we go. We're about to face Kabu in our fire gym battle. Welcome. I am Kabu. The fire type gym leader. The fact that you are here means that you've bested both Milo's grass type Pokemon and Nessa's water type too. That's quite an accomplishment. Every trainer in Pokemon trains hard in the pursuit of victory. But that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is able to unleash their true potential. All right, Kabu has gave us a very inspirational speech. Now let's go ahead and see if we can't combat that. You are challenged by Gym Leader Kabu. I don't know the Hoenn accent. I wish I knew a Hoenn accent. They just speak English in the show. All right, here we got Shelly out against his Nine Tails. Now, hopefully, it does not have a grass-type move, because that would be very, 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 very annoying. Okay, so it goes for a Will-O-Wisp. Normal, normal Kabu tactics, which burn doesn't really phase me, because we're special attackers here. This music is fire, though. I gotta say. But it's... Wasn't trying to pun there, but I ended up doing it by accident. Alright, so he's really trying to build up some residual damage on us. And I don't think I'm going to heal the burn. Because it'd just be kind of pointless. But I will heal up here in a minute. Because we do have a Arcanine to face next. All right, guys. So Nine Tails is finally down after a few water pulses. Maybe I should have went for some ancient powers to get a boost. But um, might certainly try to do that here. Okay, so Arcanine's coming in. We're gonna stay in, but we are gonna heal here. So Intimidate doesn't bother us. Again, we're physical. I mean, we're special attackers, not physical. So let's just go ahead and go for a super potion here. And I'm so used to competitive battle, I'm scared of a wild charge when I know the end game PCs don't have that. So we get crunched or bit. We get bit. That's for sure. And here we're going to try to go for a ancient power to get an ancient power boost. So those bites are doing pretty good, and we just flinched. Hopefully that's not a running theme versus this guy. Alright, cool. So we break through the flinch chance, and we get a pretty good hit. Oh man, that burn made it look like he was going to get the boost. But we do have to heal here.
And also, guys, how's y'all day going? It is a beautiful Wednesday, hump day. We're halfway through the week, the week for most people. I want to know how your guys' days have been. I know everyone had a pretty chill Monday, I'm sure. Unless you work in fast food or retail, then, you know, I guess you didn't have that chill of a day. But at least it's Wednesday, and you're getting to chill a little bit here watching the stream. Ooh, we got a crit. And no boost. Too bad, so sad. But we got to heal up again. Because this burn bite damage is really tearing us a new asshole. And we have a bite. How original, Kaboo. Way to go for something that's not, seen, that's not being seen coming. Alright, here we go. Bite again. Very classy move. Hopefully we get the boost here. Because we're pretty low health and we could really use it. Alright, no boost. And we have a Center Scorch to face. But I'm going to keep him in. Hopefully this doesn't come back to bite me in the ass. Light that fire. Come on baby, light my fire. Oh, uh, we're going to Dynamax here. Dynamax here. Max Guard. So we can have our Dynamax boost. And I'm sure it's not going to have Power Whip, so we shouldn't have to worry about that. Whoa, his eyes got fired up. Dusty, if I had to do a Hoenn accent, what do you think it would sound like? Give me a description. I'll try to do it. All right. So we're going to try Dynamax here. And, uh, it's going to be scary. But hopefully we can break through everything that this thing has to throw at us. Get some pretty good heals up. So we max guard just to get our Dynamax off without having to take a big hit from uh, this thing over here. And it is a physical attacker, so... Okay, we're going to use Energy Root because it heals more HP. And we need that since we're Dynamax and have more HP. So we're fully healed. I'm sure we could take any move this thing goes for. Not well. So I think what we're going to do here is just waste its Dynamax turns. Uh, not heal again. It's fine. Let's go max guard. So as you can see, uh, Shelly is not taking these hits very well, but we did waste its Dynamax turns. I tried to do the Japanese voice. I guess it didn't really come off as it did it. I tried did my best and then we're gonna go ahead and come out <sighs> there's not really a good Pokemon to come out to and I know I said I wasn't gonna go to Sylveon but we're gonna go to Sylveon here man this is very dramatic music it's getting intense maybe that's why it's getting intense I should have picked different music Okay, so it's going to go for the smoke screen here where we could have fucking went for each power and probably knocked it out. But we're going to go with baby doll eyes here. We're going to drop its attack. We're going to get a uh, strategic here. Oh, yeah, it's going for the coil. Okay, I was going to heal here, but we clearly can't do that. We got to keep his attack down. So we got to at least get a negative two. Nope, he's going for coil again. 
It looks like we might be stuck in a stalemate here. I mean, his defense and his speed is going up. I mean, accuracy. But at least his attack is staying neutral. Okay, now he's negative one attack. So let's go ahead and super potion here. Okay, right now he's negative one attack. Plus three speed. I mean, uh, plus three defense. And plus three accuracy. So now Shelly is fully healed. Let's go ahead and send Shelly out. He's probably going to coil again. And then he'll be at neutral attack. Because we could take a neutral attack. Just don't go for smoke screen. Okay. He did the coil again. So his attack is officially neutral again. But his defense and accuracy is plus four. But hopefully this ancient power does the damn thing. Okay. He goes for smoke screen. Hopefully we could break through the accuracy drop. And we do. And we do almost half, which isn't bad. So we can still take a hit, so we're going to go for it again, Ancient Power. But he goes for another smoke screen, which is not good for us. Yep, saw that coming. All right, here we're going to go for a... We have to have some battle items somewhere, right? Probably should have done that first. We're going to go ahead and give it an X uh, special attack. We don't have any X accuracy, so we can't do anything about that. And no, Ancient Power is already out. And now he's plus one in attack, plus five in defense, and plus uh, five in accuracy. But I think we could still take a plus one attack. And if we can't, we're going to be in really deep doo-doo. So let's hope this water pulse hits. Okay, he goes for a third smoke screen. This is not good for us. Water pulse come through. And it does. And we're boosted special attack. And we take out the Cinescorch. Can I get a hoorah for that one? Hoorah. There you go. Great show and support in the back over there. All right. So we finally get the last kill with little Shelly here. Great Pokemon and great trainer. It's no surprise that you won. Whew. We overcome the RNG gods and win. I'm often regarded, regarded as the first real roadblock of the gym challenge. And yet you've defeated me. Clearly your talent surpasses my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I guess it's not a Japanese accent, is it? Thank you, Nares, for sharing. I know now that you and your Pokemon will become a fantastic team. I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. And we have earned the fire badge. You can now catch Pokemon up to level 35. Thanks to Dynamax Phenomenon, our Pokemon battle... Oh, wait. It's Kaboo. Thanks to the Dynamax Phenomenon, our Pokemon battles have become part of the Galas region's culture. And it is young trainers who are responsible for keeping the culture alive. I don't know. I'm getting tired of doing his voice, so I'm going to stop. Oh, great. Here's Hop. Joe... I figured that if anyone can do it, you and Shellos would be the ones, but still, that match had me right at the edge of my seat. Trust me, it had me at the edge of my seat, too. You saw all these coils that dude did? Challenger Joe. Oh, see, you've done a fine job collecting gem badges from the grass, water, and fire gems. Please take this TM to commemorate what you have accomplished here today. You've obtained the TM38 Will-O-Wisp. You put it in your bag. I don't know why I had to announce that, but that's what you did. And take one of our uniforms. It's designed as Caboos himself wears. You've got the fire uniform. I think you're proving your skills well enough to try hard. 
against gems that await you start in the city of Hammerlock. Head back down to the wild areas around the city and blah, 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 blah. All right, so now we can go catch some wild Pokemon. Tired of talking to Hop. Dude, if they surprise us with Megas and Crown Tundra, I am going to flip my shizzles. Because I am so ready for some Mega Evolution again. Miss my Charizard X. Very much so. But now we can finally make our way to Hammerlock. Um, I know we caught a bunch of wild area Pokemon. But I know there is a bunch of more areas we have not tried yet. And that will give us plenty of access to more eggs. So, we're going to be doing a lot of that today. Oh, great. Uh, this is a lot of dialogue. So, basically, Hop is like, what? Y'all came to see us off to the next gyms? And they're like, yeah, that's what we do. Because not many people do it. And we're like, oh, well, we did it. So, y'all must suck. Bye. Oh, there we go. All that dialogue we avoided. You can thank me later. Make your way to the wild area and reach Hammerlock. We're going to catch a bunch of Pokemon right now. So, I think I'm going to go find the guy who uh, trades Watts for Quick Balls. Because I think Quick Balls will become very handy for us. And we do got to keep in mind of the areas we do, we've do. we already caught Pokemon. So, basically all of this area, we've caught a Pokemon aside from where the ghost Pokemon reside. And then everything downhill is basically free range. So, basically, B said he's going to kick Hop's ass and Hop's like, nah, bruh. But, you'll figure out a little more of that story later. We got to go find the Watts guy and get us some quick balls. All right, here we go. Uh, do you give quick balls? No, he gives luxury balls. I don't need your, your luxurious balls, sir. I need quick ones. We got to find out where the hell that guy is. Dusty, welcome back. It says you're watching. So I'm going to give you a little wave. And while we're over here, I guess we can try to catch a Pokemon. A Pokemon? I don't know why I said it like that. We can try to catch a Pokemon. And we can catch up to level 35. And we have a level 26 here. So let's go ahead and go out to Ronaldo. Because uh, I don't want this thing to have freeze dry and knock me out. Oh boy, he goes for present. Heal me. Nope, that does damage. You want both what? Oh, luxurious balls and quick balls. I got you. And Libero changes us to a fighting type. So we... Get this Delibird down to pretty good health. And let's go ahead and throw a freaking ball. Oh, no. Dude. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. <sighs> All right. Well, that just happened. We almost lost a Pokemon to a Delibird with Drill Pick. Holy shit, balls. And I know you don't want those kinds. Oh, man, that was too close for comfort. We're just trying to catch a Pokemon here, you dick. We're not trying to replace a Pokemon. We're trying to catch a new friend. So stop trying to kill me. Oh, my God. Well, this thing's going to take a while. So um, what y'all up to? Besides watching me stream, y'all playing any Nuzlocks or stuff like that while you watch? Got the Simpsons going on in the back. Yeah, if the, he would have fainted there, I would have had to put him in the PC box and not used him anymore. So that would have been a free spot for a Charmander, <laughs> basically. 
Uh, and this thing does not want to stay in this freaking ball. One. Oh my god. This thing's starting to get annoying. Oh, you got a critical hit. Um, I don't think it lives a freaking tackle or else I would go for a tackle. One more. If he doesn't live this tackle, then okay. He didn't stay in the ball. I'm going to see if he lives a tackle. All right, let's go for a tackle. Okay, he lived it. Beautiful. And the hell is not going to bother him. We're going to heal up because we don't want to get critted again. And then we will... S I'm definitely going to use the Mander if he's in there. I think we should nickname it that too. The Mander. It's pretty interesting. It's actually quite intimidating if you think about it. The Mander. Joe sent out the Mander. Fucking stay in the ball, you furry fuck. Uh, sorry if anyone I know in my family is watching, but this thing is really being annoying. Dude, you're in the red health. Stay in the ball. Uh, we're going to be here a minute. <laughs> Feathery fuck. Yes, that's exactly what he is. Here, you want a luxurious ball? Let's try the luxurious ball. This is why we need quick balls. We could have avoided all this pain and grief and suffering if we had the freaking quick ball. Oh, okay. So he was a he was a bougie bitch. He wanted a high maintenance pokeball. All right, I seize you. So now we have a deli bird that can take place of an egg. And I'll be doing all that at once. So let's go ahead and switch it for this egg. So that one's going to be level 26. Dusty, if you don't mind reminding me of that. The first egg is level 26. And we have plenty of candies, thanks to Dusty. To make sure that happens. Okay, so we got our ghosty area encounter. And then now there's West Lake. We got to come back here for the the little island encounter. But that's going to be much later when we actually get the pedals for the bike. Thank you, sir. And I almost forgot what the hell I was trying to do because we almost lost the Pokemon there. But we're looking for the guy who has the Watts. Well, who takes our Watts and gives us quick balls. Because these encounters need to be quicker. Literally. Oh, look, Hunter. Uh, let's see. Is he over here? I think, you know what? I think he's over there by the Hammerlock uh, entrance. Yeah, he does heal ball. There's no other one, right? Maybe there's one. It's probably over here. Let me see. But, um, let's see. But, um, tss. let's avoid all these Pokemon over here. Stupid Pangoro. I don't want you, Pangoro. You're level 60. Stay out of my life. I don't need a sugar daddy Pokemon. I'm going, Desi. I'm going as fast as I can. This fucking low tad got in my way. And uh, I'm going to switch to a fast Pokemon because I don't want to get hit with the Mega Drain or some shit. Yeah, see? Absorb. That would have probably killed me. 
Not really, because it's level 13, but still. Rather not risk it. He is right around here somewhere. Avoid, avoid. What? I know he's around here somewhere. Right there. I didn't see him. There we go. Here he is. And who's by a big tree? Nope, those are repeat balls. Ah, oh, man. I need quick balls. I should I should make the title of this when it goes on YouTube. I need quick balls. Cause that's what we're spending our whole time doing. So this guy is over here, the luxurious ball handler. And then he has the repeated ball handler over there. The hilly ball handler over there. Um, I know there's a guy somewhere around here. And also, guys, uh, hello and welcome. If you're new and just passing by, um, leave a like, follow. I feel like my content is good. A lot of people enjoy it, so that's always a plus. And if you don't mind sharing it for your friends to see, if you, even if you don't like it, that'd be really appreciated. But right now we're looking for quick balls, and I can't find the guy who has them. No, there's not going to be over here. I'm not going to catch anything yet until I get quick balls, because that's just going to make it so much easier. Bottom right of the wild area. Okay, I'm going to do what you say, Dusty. I'm on my way. On my way to Viridian City. And I'm going to run away because I'm trying to go get the quick balls. I know I'm breaking Nuzlocke rules at the moment, but this is very important. Because I need the quick balls. I don't want to be here all day. <laughs> and y'all probably thinking, yeah, you're taking more time looking for the quick balls than you are if you had just caught the goddamn Pokemon. And you may be right. But I feel like you're wrong. So I'm going to do my thing. Just enjoy the intense sounding music. Thanks to the person I will give a shout out to now. Glitch X City. All her music is free for people to use. She says so right there in her bio. So go and check out her YouTube channel if you enjoy the mixes. I've only downloaded so many, but uh, I know she has a lot more. Damn it, Dive Ball. Not that one, Dusty. But we should probably keep note of that. <laughs> So we know in the future where all the fucking ball handlers are. Also what TMs they use. I didn't really pay attention to that. But good thing y'all are watching. So y'all can pause and record and do all the stuff you need. So technically I'm helping you guys out here at the same time that I'm trying to help myself. Yeah, I'm going to go there right now. That's the one I was going to a second ago. But I felt like uh, we were on to something. Dun, 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 dun. Cruising down the wild area in my bike, looking for quick balls to put in my bag side. Bag side, not backside, you dirty minded people. Alright, uh, we're almost there. I just can't do it, Captain. I don't have the power. And he should be right there. There we go. He Appeared out of midair. Spin my quats. And there he is. Give me 111 of those bad boys. And we finally have our quick balls, guys. I wish I could pop a willy on this thing like in Gen 3. But apparently, Pokemon regresses in progression. So we can't pop willies anymore. Or bunny hop it. You know, that was always fun. But, you know, 
Pokemon. We asked we asked for stuff and they failed to pull through. But let's go back over here and get our encounters. Alright, so this is an encounter here. And we gotta figure out which in, which wild area we are in right now. <laughs> yeah, my bike don't go on the water yet. I ain't that far in the game. I wish. So let's see. Was I right in saying uh, quick balls are more effective? We'll find out on this episode of Pokemon Shield Egglock. Bingo, Bazango, Bongos. See, guys, how much easier that was than it was to actually battle it, put it in the red, possibly get a status element on it, and then throw 30 balls anyway because the fucking Pokemon doesn't want to stay in? Yeah, that could have happened. Oh no. You sons of bitches. Alright. Thank you very much, Dusty, for sending me that little cheat sheet on the 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 Watt guys. I'll say it and we save that for future stuff. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Why can't I run away? Let me run away. I don't want to be here. I already caught my area of Pokemon here. I'm going to have to switch Shellos out with some other fast Pokemon. Let's go with Jet. He's he's our fastest Pokemon. Possibly. I don't know. Ronaldo's kind of speedy. Alright. Speedier than this bike? I don't think so. Alright. Lork Lake Malok. North Lake Macaque. <laughs> Huh, up top. Nobody? Alright. I'll see myself out. Alright, well here we have Jet versus a Lifebird, but oh wait, a quick ball. Oh god damn it, you're making me look bad. And it's got a home clause up, so that's fucking scary. But we do got a speed boost here. And let's go ahead and see what a uh, false swipe does. Not enough damage. Alright, so that's one, two, three. Oh my god. We can't live another hit. Let's go to our bulkiest Pokemon here. Well,. Bulkiest as in resisted, I guess, in this sense. And now we actually have to try to... Oh my god. Is it worth it? Let's see. I'm going to throw a Dusk Ball. It's nighttime. We already got some damage on it. Damn it! Okay, I'm going to throw one more Pokeball. And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. And I'm running. Because he's plus two attack. Yeah, I'm running. Ooh, what the fuck? <clears throat> Insurance kills me, so just in case he doesn't let me run, I'm going to super heal. Yeah, not very effective, my ass cheeks. Jesus Christ. Run. Couldn't get away. You evil bitch. Leave me alone. Oh, yeah. Shout out to a member of the... New England Chartreuse. But, damn it, you're not going to help me here. You're going to make me lose a Pokemon. Uh, fuck it. Damn it, I can't switch to anybody. She's plus three. I really hate this game. RNG gods are not with me on this one. Two, just two. 
Just two. Just, um, just two, you son of a bitch. How are you going to get a crit and keep going? That's cheap. That's cheating. Fuck off. I'm running. No, I haven't got the leftovers from the wild area yet. Uh, would be nice to know exactly where that's at. Oh, man. Our team is not ready for the big leagues out here. But uh, that's our North Mayaluk area encounter. So we didn't get one there. Let's see. This is not a new area. So let's just go down this way. Avoid that fat bitch over there. Come this way. Giant's seat. Where's the low? There we go. All right, I'll check there. Uh, is it below the cliff or at the bottom? Like, is it at the bottom of the cliff or at the top of the cliff? Quick ball. Okay, so I think that's going to be the bottom of the cliff. I'll check there first. What? Stay in the ball! What the fuck is your problem? All right, guys. Well, apparently we got a dickhead on our hands. All right. Hex should be resisted. Jesus fucking Christ. We're going to beat this thing up. Okay, it goes for a curse. It's, it's going to die. Well, so far, our um, attempt to get more eggs is failing miserably. I wasted so much time getting quick balls for nothing. Because <laughs> these fuckers don't want to stay alive. Or stay in the ball. Jesus, we almost lost a jet. We almost lost our second Pokemon. Well, we haven't lost a Pokemon, but we almost lost a Pokemon again. Like, we almost lost Ronaldo to that drill pick. <sighs> it's just not our day. Just not our day. Yes, we got leftovers. And we're going to go ahead and give it to our fat girl, Shelly. I think it'd be best on her. Especially when she gets a pretty, uh, what do you call it? Whenever she gets evolved, she gets bulkier. So, oh, nope. Stay away from me. All right. So, this encounter is fucked. So far, we got the other encounter uh, 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 across the bridge, over the river, and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go. Get away from me. No encounter over here, but I do see an item. And it is Bulldoze. That could come in handy. No Duraludon, please. Alright, let's go ahead and come this way. Hopefully this is a new area. And it does. I mean, it is. Um, let's go ahead and catch a Corefish. Let's catch a Jaden. Corefish! All right, quick ball, go. I shouldn't even throw out a Pokemon. Just fucking quick ball, go. Pokemon, go it. Thank you for being complacent in that fucking ball. So we got our second encounter. And away we go. Sent to the box. Let's go. Ain't got time for your shit. Oh, there's a crawdot. Okay, now we go to another encounter area. I'm gonna try to avoid the grass, I guess. What's that? Oh, fish shark. It looked like a crow gunk. I was like, I haven't seen one of those out in the wild area. Um, let's see. Let's keep going this way. 
and all right so we got the one in this area right here so we gotta kind of go past this come under the bridge and through the woods to grandmother's house we go Whoa. Missed me with that bullshit. Alright, now we're gonna get this encounter right here. We got a Noibat. So what do y'all think is gonna be coming out of these eggs here pretty soon? Alright, here we go. Quick ball. Quick to the ball, ball, ball. What? How you, how you going to do that to me, dude? All right. That was a home move. You're not supposed to stay shake the ball three times and then break out. Come here, DNA. Ooh, I would love a rock rough. I know you have all those own tempo ones, too. And, guys, if I see a, my favorite Pokemon here, I'm going to catch. I'm going to use that one instead. I'm going to find a way to put it on the team. I don't care whose Pokemon I'm using. My favorites are going on the team first. Alright, so we can Swift one more time and then throw out a, a Great Ball. Oh, it's in love. No! What a bitch! Well, I guess we got broken up with. So, no encounter there. Get the fuck away from me. This has not been a good outing for us, guys. Let's come this way. Hopefully we hit a new area soon. But from this map, it doesn't appear so. We're going to come all the way to this side. Stony Wilderness. Uh, let's go ahead and try to catch a ninja ass in a, in a, in a quick ball. <sighs> Alright, guys. Also, I'd like to remind everybody, uh, if you are new here, just viewing, or passing by, leave a like, follow, if you would, for trying to reach 100 followers, and, um, Share if you can, even if you aren't enjoying it, because maybe your friends will. But I I think everyone, you know, doesn't think it's too bad. I'm not going to toot my own horn, because I don't know for sure, but I think I'm pretty cool. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and sit on Ronaldo here, because we're resistant to its moves. <sighs> All right, we're going to try not to hit it too hard because uh, it is a frail Pokemon and the hell it is coming in. So let's go ahead and just give it a nice old double kick. And it's false swiping us. What a dick. You trying to catch us, Ninjask? Yeah, I probably should have just quick attacked. Alright, so we got the speed boost going off. I'm going to quick attack. Hopefully it does not kill. But we do get the normal boost and we do have Silk Scarf. Beautiful. Man, these Pokemon are way too high level. Go ahead and throw a nice little dusk ball. It is nighttime. You're low health. You do not want to die to hell. Please stay in the ball. Fuck you, you piece of goddamn shit. I'm not mad. You're mad. I just want to hatch more eggs. Do it for the viewers. Don't you think I want to do it for the viewers? You help me out here, Ninjask. You want to be a helper, right? No problem, Jeremy Stewart. Welcome to the stream. You're just seeing me rage over these fucking piece of shit Pokemon who don't want to stay in the goddamn fucking ball. 
excuse my French. I guess I should say excuse my English because I ain't speaking no French. I know Spanish, but not French. And we're using our last super potion here. And let's hope uh, it doesn't die to hell so we can throw one more Pokeball. Stay in the ball. I've used all these quick balls, all these dusk balls, all the luxury balls. Stay in this great ball. It's great. <sighs> I'm about to stop trying to catch Pokemon. Okay, I'm officially done trying to catch Pokemon. Let's just progress. That's fucking annoying. Uh, let's see here. So, shit, so far, we have had attempts in all these down here. Pretty much all the attempts we've had already. We've caught two fucking Pokemon. So, we'll have one, two, three, four, five more later on. So, someone's going to remind me, I'm sure. That we have five more wild area encounters, but I'm done trying to catch them in quick balls today. RNG, RNG is just not on our side. Get the fuck away from me, you level 60 piece of shit. Alright, I'm calm now, I promise. Don't worry, guys. I always cuss like that. What do you mean? Oh, shit. Almost ran into a Corviknight there. But, we finally make it over to Hammerlock Stadium. Or oh, Hammerlock City. On our way to Hammerlock City. And we have no watts to get any of these items here. Ah, oh, gym challenger. Allow me to check your ba gym badges. <laughs> Grass, <laughs> water... Uh, 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 fire <laughs> it's confirmed you defeated all three gym leaders include the gym leader of Musatoke. I wish you the best of luck in your future battles go on ahead in oh great it's bead oh it's you I doubt Hop will be coming it's only natural after such a humiliating defeat there's no way he could look a champion in the eye I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge here just look at the gym badges I've already won Thank you, Challenger Bead. I can confirm that <laughs> have you have the required gym badges. Shut up, you fucking nerd. Anyway, I have a meeting with the chairman, so I must excuse myself. Excuse yourself from life itself. Need to talk more gay for Bead? Alright, I got your permission. And it is hammer time. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 hammerlock. Ooh, boy. All right, so Dusty said give him a gay accent. So, Mr. Chairman, I've been collecting both wishing stars and gem badges as fast as I can. Good work, Bead. I'm glad you haven't forgotten that it was the chairman who endorsed you. If I gather enough wishing stars, will he sleep with me? Like, right, Mr. Chairman? Oh, it's not just about me. It's for the future of the whole Galar region. And we'll need more than just wishing stars. We need a powerful Pokemon trainer, too. Someone like the champion. With all due respect, sir, I was able to show Hop. One of the champion's endorsed trainers, I must say. Just how outclassed he was. I'm sure I'll be able to defeat the champion. No, I will defeat the champion. Because I'm a bad bitch. That's the spirit. It takes healthy competition to keep, really keep the gym challenge energized. Challenger Bead, is there something I wish to discuss with you? Do you have a moment? Yas, queen! Oh, great. Now we gotta talk to Rose. I hope you were listening, Joe. As you know, wishing stars are the, those mysterious stones that are even attached to your Dynamax bands. There's more to the Wishing Stars than just making your Pokemon into giants, though. They hold far more energy than that. If you're curious, you should head to the stadium. In fact, we should head inside right now. 
I'll even give you a little lesson on how the Galar region gets its energy. I'm pretty sure everyone can talk like a gay person. I'm sure most people do it better than others, though. Hammerlock Stadium doubles as the energy plant. Now that you have to look at my tablet, uh, I've given you all the information you need on it. Yeah, he just flaunts his boxes everywhere. I think the cops would, like, give him a ticket or something for, uh, whatever the fuck that's called. Indecent exposure. There we go. Our lives and society are kind of so much... Uh, uh. I get it. Y'all are based off the Industrial Revolution, so y'all have to have all this fancy shit. No one cares. Ooh, ball guy. Hey, ball guy. What kind of ball do you have for me? Stick it in my mouth. Ooh, a level ball. I can make sure it's nice and straight. Ba -da 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 -da. All right, dude. Let's go. Head to the vault next. It lies elsewhere in Hammerlock. I was just there, wasn't I? Do I really gotta go back in there? Head to the vault next. I'm confused. I thought you said to go to Route 6. I'm just going to go to Route 6. Damn it. Wrong button. There we go. Joe, seems like you're doing the collecting gem badges. But Hop, what happened to him? He must have lost really badly to somebody. He's embarrassed to show his face. Yeah, he lost. When you lose, you feel down in the dumps. But then there's nowhere left to go but back up. Um... You would thought my brother would fucking learn that by now, but I guess not. Well, if you see him, tell him to stop being a little bitch and just keep battling. Will do, uh, champ. Now let's go ahead and move on with our story here. Ooh, piece of candy. Two hyper potions. Ah, oh, that's just what we needed. We needed more healing items. Oh, now I know where to go. Here, this fucking place. But let's go ahead and get some healing items and stuff before I forget. Because that could be really bad. Dusty, uh, by the way, was that voice gay enough for you? <laughs> I have to know. Alright, so we can get a shitload of super potions, but we're just going to get 30. And... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's see what we can sell real quick. All right, here we go. High potion. Sell these revives. Uh, sell. Sell these pokeballs because we don't need them. Sell. Nah, we're gonna use all those. Ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> I have some better uh, TMs and TRs thanks to Dusty. We're doing a bunch of those raids, so that's how we got those. Let's go ahead and sell all this because it helps us get money. And we don't really need to make stews and stupid shit like that. Alright, big nuggets. Rare bones. I got a rare bone for you. Let's see, sell that, and sell those. Get them out of my bag, it's way too fucking heavy. What the fuck you doing over there? I wish you could sell Dynamax candy, I have like a billion in my last one. <laughs> you suppose? <laughs> well, if you have any pointers for me to talk gay or let me know. Rose be a petal? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Ooh, you know what? Let's see if um I can learn any better moves on some of my Pokemon. 
Let's see. Jet, can you learn a better move? Uh, ooh, Aerial Lace. There we go. Switch it for Absorb. I should probably switch it for Mud Slap. It's all good. Yeah, let's keep on looking. Because he had, he had a bunch of moves that I haven't seen yet. Mm, let's go ahead and... You know what? Let's do Baton Pass. That could come in handy. Let's get rid of Mud Slap. You never know... When we are going to need... To Baton Pass some speed... To our Gastrodon. <laughs> Mm, yeah, it's going to be a no for me, dog. Alright, DNA, can you learn Moonblast? Because that'd be great. Whoa, this thing went 0 to 100 real fucking quick. Yeah, let's go ahead and see if Edward can learn a cool move. No, not yet. All right. Well, we're we're good for now. Let's go ahead and give our Pokemon some TRs cuz those could come in handy. And let's organize them by name. And let's go down the list to see what they can learn. Beat up Blaze Kick. Don't mind if I fucking do. That's going to be a whole lot better than Flame Charge. Blaze Kick, please. And also, can y'all hear the music? Or is it too low? I should have asked that from the beginning. Uh, body Slam. I think it knows Tackle, so it might be better. No, we're going to keep Swift. Brutal Swing, Bug Buzz, that, well, it's a physical attacker, so I guess not. Dazzling Gleam, for sure, that's better than Disarming Voice. Is it too low, though? Because I feel like it's too low on the, th on the thing. No, not Flare Blitz, it's too much. Not Heat Wave either. Leaf Blade, Leech Life. Nah, not Magical Leaf. Okay, so we got Play Rough, and we're going to give that to Alice, because that could come in handy for sure. Being a physical attacker and all. So let's go ahead and get rid of Leer. Alright, well, I just wanted to make sure it wasn't too low. Because I know I'm talking pretty loud, and then if I get quiet, it's going to sound weird. Alright, let's see. Seed Bomb, Shadow Ball. Shadow Ball might be better than Bite on DNA, so let's go ahead and change that up. And by the way, did anyone have a nickname for uh, Sylveon that they wanted to throw out there? If y'all got it, let me know, and I will be able to uh, change it if need be. So, I got an interesting question for y'all, and I just thought of this right now. Oh, I haven't turned it down yet. That's why I was asking. Let me go ahead and turn it up just a little bit. Alright, is that too loud? Because I never turned it down. You said you could hear it. I guess it just got low on you. Tyel. It's an interesting nickname. Uh, Whirlpool. No, I like Water Pulse better. 
I thought I saw a wild charge, but I guess not. All right, beautiful. It's good. I'll leave it at that. And yeah, new song just started, so it got low again. But it'll be good here in a second. Uh, squishy, squishy, squishy. I used to actually nickname my gastrodon Squishy. Well, I normally nickname him Squishy. But, uh, Toxel for a Togepi. No, I don't have that, and I'm not going to trade for that. Hey, you heard a rumor? Yeah. Oh, wait, I gotta say no. I haven't heard a rumor. Oh, and I don't have an Applin to give this guy. So, oh well. Let's come down this way. Talk to this old man here. Whoa, I guess he teaches our starters a move. But we're not going to do that just yet. And normally we can catch a Pokemon here. But it doesn't seem that it generated in that spot. And we're going to avoid that for now. But yeah, it looks like um, nothing generated in that spot yet, so we can't catch nothing yet. Now I'm just trying to see if I, lo I, I passed up any items on the way. I know I gotta go in and check all these doors eventually. What am I gonna do that now? Let's go up here. I know there's some items up here, right? Ooh, piece of candy. Strawberry sweet. Okay, we got a we got an old letter to deliver to a man named Frank in the fairy place. But I don't think we're gonna be able to do that today. So let's go ahead and make our way back. It doesn't seem like we missed any other items. Go say hi to Ghost Girl. Welcome back, Nares. Like Tattletale. That's an interesting nickname. Uh, you're the only one who threw out a nickname, so I'll go ahead and change it to that. Uh, okay. Well, I guess depending on the gender, that's what we'll name it. But I do think it's female. Oh, it's a male, so I guess I'll name it Tail. Oh, shit. Wrong button. Oh, no, 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 no. God damn it. Keep choosing the wrong button. Rate a nickname. DNA. Let's switch it to Tail. And you know what? Let's go ahead and finish up this episode with hatching two more eggs since we caught two more encounters and see if we can actually get a Charmander or at least a Rock Ruff out of it because if we do there will be spots opening up on this team oh we caught three encounters actually so that's that's better so let's see this one's supposed to be 26 29 16 okay so 29 will be this one and 16 will be this one oh, I forgot to get the eggs damn it wrong buttons everywhere Ducktails, <laughs> balsam. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with balsam. You want some balsam? You want some ball? Balsam. It's a catchy name. I'm switching it. Switching it to balsam. Oh, and we hatched an egg. Not even a step. Let's see what it could be. And it's a dupe. 
we have a duplicate Bulbasaur. So that means we switch out this egg for a different one. Oh, and we have another hatch. Let's see what this one is. They must be set to quick hatch. Because <laughs> they're hatching pretty fast. And we have a Charmander. Hopefully this is the level 29 one. Because <laughs> that's the one I really want it to be 29. Give a nickname to Charmander. And I'm going to nickname it Champ. Because that's what I nicknamed my Charizard. Charmander since I was little. Oh, ch or champion. So let's rate a... Oh, yeah, rate a nickname. And it is the level 16 egg? Ugh. I guess. But, uh, Shelly, uh... Let's go balsam. 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 See, uh, something about you, Nares. I can never say your names right. <laughs> or Nares. There you go. Finally said it right. Balsam. And thanks to Nares, we have that nickname. You know what? I'm going to cheat. This, this Charmander is... What? It was this egg the whole time? It was the second egg! Woohoo! Charmander's getting leveled up to level 29. So, let's go ahead and put our duplicate Pokemon over here somewhere. And switch it for... Let's switch it for one of Jeremy's eggs. I know you're going to be a Lycan Rock. I should have switched that one. But it's okay. Let's go ahead and get Charmander up to level 29. Because that's the egg it was supposed to be anyway. Yeah, it's a Charmeleon. <laughs> I guess it was going to be a Charmeleon either way. I think one large candy will do the trick. Almost. So I guess give it one. Okay, yeah, Dragon Breath, why not? Ooh, Solar Power. That's gonna come in handy, I'm sure. Not gonna teach it Fire Fang. Not gonna teach it. Well, we could teach it Slash, it'll be better than Scratch. And let's watch this beautiful baby evolve. And I'm not a big fan of Gigantamax forms. But, you know, if I feel like it, I might do it. So we officially have a Charmeleon in the decks. And Leon's not going to like that. But we're going to go ahead and get this thing one candy here. One more candy should get it to... Okay, one more. 29 okay or one more don't go to 30 ah oh, you went to 30 you son of a bitch but that's fine we did our best oh, I could have gave it a rare candy right no because it was two levels oh wait no it was one level oh well we got flamethrower Oh man, someone in the battle to use all three forms of Lycanroc? That is some bullshit. I'm, I'm going to show everyone that regular Charizard's better. But, we still have two more eggs to hatch. So that means uh, the score bunny staying in the PC. And let's go ahead, and we got another hatch here. Sorry, Jeremy. I'm sure if something happens to Charizard, that's going to be the replacement. But, got to have my favorite. Oh, and it's a Rock Ruff! And we're going to have to find another replacement. And I think I know just the Pokemon to replace. 
And this one I'm nicknaming Lone Wolf. Because that's what I nickname all my lichen rocks. Lone Wolf. Too bad it's not shiny, but you know. Beggars can't be choosers. So Jet is going to go in the PC for this Lone Wolf. Is replacing him. At level 26, Ronaldo. Sorry, buddy. But you are staying here in the PC for now. So we officially have two of our favorites on the team. And Nares, I will take your nickname. Yeah, we do have too many faves in common, Dusty. You need to stop liking the Pokemon I like. <laughs> well, I guess you're older, so I guess you get seniority to it. Alright, Lone Wolf learns Rock Throw. Yes, forget a move for Rock Throw. Forget Leer. Oh yeah, I'll check for the own tempo right now. Uh, Rock Throw, How, that could come in handy. So let's go ahead and get rid of Sand Attack here. Uh, bite is better than double team, so we're gonna land that. I got you. I'll change the time right now. You said seven to eight, right? Okay, let's see. Let's go ahead and hatch the other one real quick so I can get Dusty to send me the correct time so I can put the correct time. And like I said, Naresh, you can go ahead and send me the nickname for this next Pokemon. Ooh, piece of candy. Dire hit. Okay, seven to eight. That's what I'm going to set it to. So save real quick just to make sure. Then come down here. Yes, I've been playing Fortnite with my brother. Don't judge me. Uh... Where do I go? Um, system. I'm changing the time. Yeah. Date and time. Change it to 7.49 p.m. For now. Alright. Playing. So the game time should be right. <laughs> yes, gross judged. <laughs> Leave me alone, Dusty. I'm just a man. And this one's going to be level 26. So let's give it one more candy. 25. Rock Tomb. Is that better than Rock Throw? Yes, it is. So let's go ahead and switch that out. Even has 5 accuracy better. Wait, it didn't evolve. Oh my god. Thought you said level 25, Dusty. Well, it's on tempo. Maybe I did the time wrong. Well, yes, I am. But is it level 25? Because it's level 25 now. And 26? I don't know. It's not evolving. Houston, we have a problem. Like and rock. Pokemon database. Help me out here. We got a rock rough that doesn't want to evolve. Own tempo rock rough. You mean what well, on the thing here it says five to six, so do you think it's six to seven? 
that they changed it to? Well, it didn't evolve into any of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit the game. Go to system settings. It says level 25. Uh... Time, date and time. <clears throat> I'm gonna just try it. Six fifty-two. <clears throat> Reset the whole game. I see it does too, but that's weird. It didn't change into anything. All the other Pokemon have been evolving okay. So let's see. I'm going to give it one more rare candy, guys. I know. But we're trying to evolve this thing here. Nope. Restart. Technical difficulties. Seven to seven fifty nine. System date and time. Change it to seven. Okay, let's try it again. Maybe do I have to be in the wild area? Maybe that's what it is. Game freak. This game's a freak. Jesus Christ. I'm just trying to hatch some eggs so I can go to bed already. Um, I'm going to go to the wild area just in case. I'm not going to say that's the problem, but I'm not going to say it's not the problem. Save again. Cause only you can prevent lost save copyright. Uh by type. Oh wait, no, wrong part. By type. Rare candy for the lone wolf here. There we go. Something's happening. Oh, it's mine, all right. I think you have to be in the wild area. Like and rock dusk, baby! And we get the crushed claw to replace tackle. But the only move we're gonna be using is Excel Rock anyway, like Dusty said, so. Damn right, we got us a like and rock dusk on our team. So, again, yeah, it was one more level over, but can you blame me? Look at that sexy beast of a dog. I mean, I ain't a furry, but if you were to go furry, I mean, wouldn't that be the thing you go furry for? Well, Route 5, uh, they, the, sun, the sun still changes to night to day, and... Maybe since it's just pure day here, no matter what time of day it is, I don't know. Maybe it's a fucking thing. I have no idea. But over where the the daycare breeder is, the sun changes throughout the day, just like in the wild area. So I don't know. I'm just a man. Remember a move, please. Come here, lone wolf. Ooh, Excel Rock, Sucker Punch. Ooh, boy. 
This thing is gonna be fucking beastly over here. Let's see what else you learn. And then we have one more egg to hatch. I know I'm dr dragging ass on that, but. Um, let's see. We have how bite taunt. I don't think we need sucker punch because so. Uh, I mean, we're fast, and I think taunt will come more in handy than how. Because I mean, you saw what that uh, sense of scorch did with all the freaking coils. So yeah, we're doing that. And then we just have one more Pokemon to hatch. See what it is. I don't know if that will be taking place of anyone on the team. But, definitely might. Depends on what it is. Oh, okay. So yeah, that was the problem, guys. And we have a duplicate Ponyard. <laughs> so, looks like we're going to have to switch out this Ponyard for another egg. So guys, if you want to send in more eggs, these are the Pokemon we have. And yeah, these are the Pokemon we have. So please do not make any eggs of those if you choose to submit Pokemon to us. You can submit a Volcarona because Volcarona is not a Nuzlocke Mon. It is just here to hatch eggs. So y'all feel free to make a Larvesta if you choose to do so. I am not requesting that mon because it evolves at level 68 or some sh crazy shit like that. But that is a Pokemon you can do. So feel free. So any mon except these mons here. Please and thank you. I'll also be uh, sending a picture in the group chat here in a little bit after I'm done hatching this last egg. We picked one of Noressa's eggs. So let's see how it goes for us. Doom, 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 doom. I love this music. I think I'm going to just start streaming with this music instead of like the in game music. It's more intense, it's more dramatic, it's more amazing, it's more beautiful. And again, guys, if you are here just passing by or, you know, enjoying the series, especially if you're enjoying the series, please leave a like. Also, follow to not miss any streams I do and share where you can. Especially if you like it so your friends can enjoy it with you and talk in the chat with us Or if you don't like it go ahead and share anyway So, you know, maybe your friends will enjoy it or some of their friends will enjoy it. Who knows? But let's keep it sharing keep it going keep these like reacts going and I appreciate all my viewers And we have a bar boach thanks to Nares and we are gonna go ahead and nickname this something here Let's go ahead and name it. Um, ooh, breed some fun stuff. That'll be fun. Da -da 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 -da. I know, that was redundant, but I had no other word to say but fun. Um, Barboach. And we're going to name it Barbotch. Oh, man. Oh, I need to go nickname this thing. No, not this one. I'm going to forget where the fuck I'm supposed to go and all that. So let's go ahead and go over here to this Pokemon Center. Nickname it Barbotch. <laughs> Butt fun. Eh, not that kind of fun, Dusty. Sorry. Don't swing that way. Uh, let's see. Barboach. You're going to be Barbotch. No, I picked the wrong one. Write a nickname. You need a name, 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 nick, 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 nickname. You need a nickname. And you're going to be Barpotch. Barbotch. Nope, that's it. 
So, let's go ahead and stay in the freaking middle. There we go. Let's go ahead and take a look at our final team. <laughs> you never know. Certainly no one on this stream is ever going to know. Um, looking at our final team here. Amazing little squad we have put together. We have two fully evolved mons. A mon that's about to be fully evolved at level 30, I believe. Um, level 36, I believe. Level 30 and level 36. So, in high hopes of uh, all our Pokemon evolving here soon, we have a timid Charmeleon with solar power. We have a Tough Claws Jolly Lone Wolf. Then we have, of course, Balsam. A eh, cute charm. We have an Adamant Edward Scissorhands. Balsam was calm. And then we have a Docile. Oh, it's very docile. Ooh. Big whoop, Alice. No one wants to be here either. Alright, Alice with Play Rough and Intimidate. So, our squad is looking pretty decent right now. And also, we have Shelly the Shellos with a naive nature because she's a dumb blonde. And she has the Storm Drain ability. But, guys, that is it for tonight. I, again, said we will probably stream Friday. For sure, Sunday. And, also, I really need y'all's help to reach the goal of 100 followers. So, please, I know it's annoying that I keep asking and sounds like I'm begging. You don't have to but it would be much appreciated if you leave the like, followed, and share where you can so more people can enjoy my luscious voice. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.